Hi ladies and welcome back to my kitchen. This is Candace coming to you from a very sunny and beautiful day in, uh, in Vancouver, BC. Um, I really appreciate you coming back uh, and visiting with me and tonight you're in for a special treat. So uh, me and my boyfriend have decided over the years that it's best if we set aside at least one day a month where there's nothing on the agenda and it's our own date night. So let me introduce you to what we're going to be making today. I wanted to make something that was uh, really wow factor and uh, and so what I've uh, created is what I consider to be a restaurant quality side dish. We're going to be making um, marinated and grilled stuffed portobello mushrooms. They're going to be topped with a nice spicy and tangy arugula salad and some crunchy walnuts. Sounds pretty nice, doesn't it? And so what I'd like to do, um, just to quickly get started with us, is to show you some of the ingredients that we're going to be using to create these little gems. So what we have here is our portobello mushrooms, which are nothing more than large cremini mushrooms. Um, they can be treated in the very same way that you use all of your mushrooms, but today we're gonna treat them a little bit special. Uh, also, we have our star of the show, our Philadelphia Light today with the urban garlic. It's probably, this is probably my favorite product, tell you the truth, by Philadelphia. I love this one. And it's always in my fridge and it's kind of guilt free so I don't feel too bad about having it on a bagel sometimes. So what I've done is just taken um, three tablespoons of our urban garlic uh, Philadelphia cream cheese and I've mixed it with about three tablespoons of plain goat cheese and I find that both cheeses are really nice and tangy but together they just create this real richness and to, uh, to add to that tang I've added a half of a lemon zest in here that I just used my little handy dandy rasp and my little lemon and put it in and once we get started I'm also going to add to our cheese mixture one teaspoon of fresh thyme and a dash of pepper or two and they're going to be topped with a panko and parmesan uh, crust so they get a nice little crispy crust on there as well. I'm gonna be topping it with a nice arugula salad. Um, I like arugula because it actually has a bitter tart taste to it and cut against the cream cheese. I find that it's a really nice balance and this is gonna be the simplest salad ever. Just a drizzle of olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper and lemon juice and that's it. And then I'm gonna toast some walnuts and we're going to just crumble them on top. So if I wanna get this ready before he gets home, um, I better get things started. So I'm gonna introduce you to how to clean the portobellos and our marinade that's gonna make them extra special. Okay, so we've uh, cleaned out one of the mushrooms already just to get things started so you can see what they look like. And this is a trick that I learned um, in my 20s and 30s really. I had a wonderful opportunity to work at some of the finest restaurants this country has to offer, which was just an amazing experience. So this is the experience. finished product and this is why restaurant food looks so pretty. So I'm going to show you how to make this one look the same as this one. So all we're going to do is take out the stem, which is inedible. Um, you, well, not inedible. You can use it in uh, stock if you, if you would like. Just chop it up so and put it in a stock but for this dish we don't want it just going to show you we're just going to take a spoon and just gently peel them out so this is not um, a necessary step it's not that these are inedible or that you can't eat it I just find that it tur turns a little um, muddy I think that's the best way and I then can say it. Uh, that uh, lovely white skin that you see here we just quite simply take our fingers and pull back just gently I hope you can see this just gently pull back on the skin it comes out just like that and even though again this is not a necessary step for portobellos you can easily eat this skin because we are marinating it I find that the marinade actually gets in to the mushroom much faster this way because I've, it's more porous so it's now nice and soft that's Isn't it that so I'm going There's to put together our uh, marinade next excuse me my fingers are disgusting okay well, I'll clean them up later. Uh, so our marinade, which will be actually pretty quick, you can use this marinade for uh, 15 minutes or up to a half an hour, depending on how much time you have with these mushrooms. And all we're gonna do is put um, two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, two tablespoons of uh, roasted garlic, garlic oil, oil, two tablespoons of uh, freshly crushed garlic, and now the piece de resistance and the one thing I really wanted to uh, share with you guys today was my little trick. So this is a half a cup of dry white vermouth. Now vermouth you may well know as, uh, you know, in Bond movies, shaken not stirred, in our cocktails and martinis, um, but for a home cook, this is a fantastic ingredient. Um, all vermouth is, is just a fortified wine, and uh, what that allows for is a much longer shelf life than you get out of regular wine. It also has a nice sweet and spicy flavor to it, um, a real depth of flavor. And what I like about this is that I put this bottle right here, I hope you can see it, this bottle was 13 bucks. Not a lot of money, especially if you know what PC prices are. So we are have like just uh, 
toss them really well in the marinade and I just like to brush the tops to make sure everything's really well saturated. It's kind of hard to have a dish, uh, you know, flat enough to do this sometimes with the mushrooms. So you want to keep them well basted during that 15 minutes of, um, of marinating time, but that gives me lots of time to do my cheese. So as I mentioned before, we've got goat cheese and our urban garlic filly and a half a lemon zest in there that I'm just going to cream all together. I'm gonna to add our a teaspoon of fresh thyme and our pepper. And this is going to be our mixture that uh, the mushrooms are stuffed with, which is going to be amazing. Okay, so our portobellos have been um, sitting in their lovely little mixture here for about 15 minutes, and as you can see, they've really taken on um, the color of the marinade, which is great. And all I'm gonna do is put these on my grill pan, which has just been heating up behind me here, and I'm going to put it on medium high, and I'm gonna put it gill side down first for four minutes, and then I'm gonna turn them over and uh, cook them four minutes more. And during your cooking time, you wanna reserve this marinade because we're going okay, to taste it. We've got through our eight minutes and these are our portobello, whoa, <laughs> portobello mushrooms with some juice that we've done. I just wanted to show you without spilling everything, the lovely grill marks that the bottoms have. And now we're just going to um, stuff them full of our cheese and, uh, and get them ready for the broiler. So, we're gonna so now that we have our cheese spread out over the top and I'm all gooey, excuse me, I'm just gonna top our mushrooms here with our breadcrumb and parmesan mixture. Just generously, you wanna make sure that you kinda of get all the cheese covered up. Now, I know you're going, some may think, well, you're gonna put a salad on top of that, isn't it gonna make it soggy? Ironically, because the salad is made at the very last minute and it's placed on it right before it goes to the table, it doesn't really allow it to get soggy and it gives us this nice little surprise for crunch. I'm just yeah, gonna let these little, little babies hang out because although my nails are done, I am not, so I need to hop in the shower, get my best dress on, maybe pull out the good underwear. And uh, now, now ladies, get your head out of the gutter. It's not that kind of video. But what I will do for myself is, since I had vermouth on hand, thought I'd make myself a little martini, just to get myself maybe more in the mood, let's say. And, uh, and my boyfriend should be home in about, literally about a half an hour, so I better move it. Okay, hi again, girls. I have cleaned myself up best I can as good as I get, really. And uh, I've had a little bit of my martini, so I'm quite relaxed. I also um, toasted our um, uh, mushrooms under the broiler for about one minute, uh, just to get them nice and brown. Here, I'll show you really quickly. That's the color we're looking for. And ladies, this is one thing, do not move from the stove. These little guys will burn faster than you can say potato. So stay with them and, uh, and they'll be a nice golden crust for you. Now again, I'm just gonna move these out of the way and show you how we're gonna build our little salad, which takes exactly five seconds because it's just about what I've got till he walks in the door. So I'm gonna take a little bit of olive oil just drizzle it right on top there. There's no measuring here. I mean, this is just enough to coat it. And then I have my lemon, which I'm gonna take half the lemon, just hold my hand over it to squeeze so I don't get any of the seeds in there. I really want this to be lemony, so it cuts through a lot of that richness that we have going on in the mushrooms. Just put that there. And we're going to use uh, just a bit of black pepper and just a smidge of salt. And then we're going to use the best tool in the kitchen. I'm going to show you how this looks on the plate. Now tonight we are serving this with um, a really crispy Muscovy duck breast that I just seared and roasted in the oven, which is Dave's uh, favorite. So I, uh, I thought to do that for him considering this was uh, for him. All we're doing <laughs> now is just top them with a little bit of the arugula salad. Nice and high. This is the restaurant stuff. This is the thing that, that they... Uh, they do, it's all presentation. Don't forget, we eat with our eyes as much as we do our nose. I remember one chef uh, that I work with in uh, Tofino, BC had said that um, we first eat with our eyes, then our nose, then our mouth. And I'm gonna just take <laughs> our little like walnuts and just let them fall where they may. Just put them on top. It adds a nice nuttiness that I think goes extremely well with the arugula and the mushrooms. And that is that. So. I'm gonna go and uh, get our table ready for dinner, maybe make him a cocktail or two. And I've got my high heel shoes, so I think we're all ready to go. I really hope you enjoy this dish and it's a real treat to have you in my kitchen and I hope to see you again very, very soon. If not this week, the next week, look for my entree round. Take good care, girls. Have a great night. I know I will.